visitors with us this evening. Do we have any visitors on this side? Any on this side? Well, thank you all for coming out in this cold and uh, uh, wet day. As a reward, I told Father to make his homily extra spicy tonight, so pay, pay close attention. Uh, so let's all stand and welcome each other's neighbors uh, to our celebration this evening. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Uh, we remind you at this point to please silence your cell phones. This, ma this mass is being live streamed as well. Our opening song is found in spirit and song at number 139, number 139. Your light will come, Jerusalem. Please stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We celebrate the second Sunday of Advent, preparation for the birth of Jesus Christ. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate God's presence, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy have mercy on us Lord, Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, May no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But what our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of, of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor you will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights. Look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you. But God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord.
God has done great things for us, filled us with laughter and music. God has done great things for us, filled us with laughter and music. When our God led us back to freedom, like dreamers we beheld the promised land again. Our mouths were filled with laughter and rejoicing. God has done great things for us. nations what God had done for us, your mighty deeds of love, restoring us to life. You lead your people home to you rejoicing. God has done great things for us, filled us with laughter. in your love as rivers through the sand as springs within the desert those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing God has done great things for us filled us with laughter reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you. Because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now, I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception. To discern that is of what value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord.
is near the kingdom of God is at hand repent and believe in the good news alleluia 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 the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was a governor of Judea, and Herod, the tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Traconis, and Licinius, the tetrarch of Abini, during the high priest of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the winding roads shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord The people of Israel in, the, in the, re, the first reading was in exile. They had been in exile for at least uh, 40 years. That book is uh, possibly the last one written in, in the, first, the, the, the last century before Jesus Christ came. They were in exile. Then the word of God came to John and, and Israel was, is, is already in, in, the, in the land, but the Roman Empire is there. In all those names tell us that the Word of God came to John in a specific and concrete history. God appears in concrete parts of history. It is not a myth that happened or not happened. No, it, it comes, God appears in concrete history. And the concrete situation of Israel is that they were in trouble in the first reading and in the gospel. Where are the prophets? Where are the prophets? In the Gospel, John appears proclaiming the good news, fulfilling his mission. Prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. All the mountains shall be made low. Prepare the way of the Lord. So all flesh, that's the last sentence of the gospel, all flesh shall, they, shall see the salvation of God. Prepare the way of the Lord. It's metanoia, is is conversion, is repentance, conversion. The gospel speaks about a baptism of repentance from sins. The calling is conversion. And more than that, it's a change of mind. Change of mind. It's transformation. It's 
seeing the world, seeing people, seeing relationships, seeing everything as God sees them. Transformation, metanoia. In, in, in fact, the word metanoia means that metanoia, beyond the mind. Change your mind. Conversion. And the second reading speaks about knowing God. It's about, uh, St. Paul speaks about knowing God by loving God. Paul and, and John in the gospel speak about knowing God by loving God. There are different ways of knowing God. Loving him, having a special relationship with him is a way to know God. Saying so uh, Thomas Aquinas speaks about metaphysics again, metaphysics beyond the physical world, knowing the creation, knowing everything is about knowing God, the Creator, said Thomas Aquinas. And Saint Augustine, his about conversion, 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 says knowing God is transforming our heart. Transforming our heart. Knowing God. And it is important to know God. Very important. Life can, can be easier and wonderful when we know God. By loving him, by appreciating his creation, by transforming our heart, knowing God is important. In the last uh, weeks and months, I have been talking about God is behaving in a different way. Yeah? I told some of you, God is behaving in a different way. God is going to do something soon. It happened. But sorry, I cannot tell you now. But it's something good. Knowing God. Another way to know God is knowing the scriptures. Reading the Bible. Knowing God so we can, we can, we can appreciate, says St. Paul in today's second reading, appreciate the value of everything and everyone. How can this happen? Prepare the way of the Lord. The Lord is coming. Salvation is at hand. Redemption is at hand. Make low those mountains. Which ones? The mountains of sin we have created along the way. Sometimes people come and tell me, I don't have grave sins. Congratulations, that's great. But I have like 200 venial sins, oh, a mountain. Make the mountains low. So all flesh shall, shall see the salvation of God. We have a, very, a special time for that. This coming Tuesday, confessions here. We start at 6 p.m. 
with the, the celebration of the world. 6.30 p.m. 10 priests will be here. They and you making low the mountains because the Lord is coming. Tuesday. Please stand. Let us proclaim our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and unmade, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Wrapped in God's cloak of justice, we glorify him with our prayers for the needs of the world. For the church striving to be the sacrament of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For world leaders, as they work for peace, and pursue justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all peoples, that their dignity as God's children may be respected and upheld, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our renewed efforts to reconcil reconciliation and unity with indigenous people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and suffering who reveal God's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, that they may live in glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We now bow our heads and remember our prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, source of wisdom, and compassion. Hear our prayers and fill us with your love. Help us discern what is of value as we await the coming of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our song for the preparation and presentation of the gifts is Emmanuel, found in Gather, I'm sorry, in Spirit and Song at number 137, Spirit and Song. One, three, seven.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, Lord, with our, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist proclaimed his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we, he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its, to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously made holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Bridget, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Gustavo Garcia Sierra, our Archbishop, Michael and Gary, his auxiliary bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Father, listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Father, today we pray for the health of Edgar Hiron. And to our departed sisters and brothers, Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends, and Anna Pham Anne, Mike Dwyer, Luis Montemayor, Francisco Martinez, and Pam Bradley. And to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worried that I should enter my home. The song for Holy Communion is found in Gather. It's at number 826, number 826, The Living Bread of God.
The second collection today is for retired men and women religious. Good evening. The announcements for this evening are, the music ministry is once again selling memorial luminarias to decorate the outside of our church on Christmas Eve. Each luminaria is $3. Please see the table in the narthex. Please help decorate the church with ponceras this Christmas and consider giving a donation to help with the cost. The suggested minimum donation is $20. Please see Taylor for details. Thank you for your generosity. December 9th is the holy day of obligation for the Immaculate Conception. We will have masses at noon and 7 p.m. that day. Please join us. Our parish penance service will be Tuesday, December 10th. We will begin at 6 p.m. with a service, and then individual confessions will begin at 6.30 p.m. We hope to have 10 priests available. Join us on December 12th for the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We will have mañanitas at 6.30 a.m. at the Grotto and a bilingual mass at 6.30 p.m. Fiesta to follow mass in Vance Hall. Please join us for Las Posadas, December 16th and the 24th. Please meet in front of Vance Hall at 6.30 p.m. so we can prepare to walk for houses, to houses. Please sign up for the Men's Axe Retreat in the Narthex. The retreat is January 9th through the 12th. Also, please see the Knights in the Narthex to purchase your smoked turkey for Christmas. Thank you. Have a good evening. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, proclaim the gospel by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional is Prepare the Way of the Lord, found in Gather at number 336.
like to remind everybody that tomorrow afternoon mm -hmm. is our final mm -hmm. showing of the musical mm -hmm. A Very Martha Christmas and The Miracle on Main mm -hmm. Street. So don't forget, mm -hmm. 4 p.m. in the Vance Hall, and it's free. Thank you.